Hi Team Awesome, it's Mrs. Hicks. Um, I am going to show you guys how to convert within the metric system. Hopefully you have your notes out to help you with this. Just to review a couple things, the phrase that you should use, that you should have memorized to help you, is King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. King stands for kilo, Henry is hecto, doesn't is deca, usually stands for our basic unit, which is either going to be meters, liters, or grams. Drink is desa, chocolate is centa, and milk is mina, milla. So let's go ahead and get started. When we were in class yesterday, we showed you guys how to convert with whole numbers. I'm going to continue with that, and then we'll get into what to do when you have a decimal number already in the problem. So the first one we're going to look at is... Let's look at the number 16. So let's say we had 16 grams and we wanted to find out how many centigrams that is. 16 is the whole number, obviously 16. There's no decimal shown, but we know it's there, it's just invisible. So in order to show it, you're just gonna bring it in on the very right side of the number. So from there, once you've got your decimal point shown with your pencil, which you need to put it there, we're going to go from grams to centigrams. So we're over here at our basic unit, which is grams. You're going to centigrams, which is one, two steps to the right. So you're going to take that decimal point and move it one, two places to the right. Those two empty places stand for your zeros. So your answer is 1,600 centigrams. As for the decimal, you can either, uh, we've had kids in the past show it like that. Um, they've also gone ahead and put a zero behind the decimal point. Or you can just leave it as 1,600. Mr. Erickson and I don't care as long as you've got the answer. Number two, we've got seven, let's see, we'll do milligrams. And we are going to change that to decigrams. Again, it's the whole number seven. You need to go ahead and put the decimal point there. You're going from milligrams to decigrams, DG. So it's right here. So you're going to travel one, two places to the left. One, two places to the left. Put your, make sure you have your arrow shown there. So it's going to be 700 decigrams. Number three, let's go ahead and add in a decimal in the problem. So let's say that we have 271 and 6 tenths meters, and we want to find out how many kilometers that is. What you're going to do, since there's already the decimal point, that's what you're going to use. So you're going to go ahead and put your finger on meters, which is right here, and you're going to travel two kilometers. That is one, two, three places to the left. So you're going to show your jumps, one, two, three places, draw your arrow. Where the arrow is, is where your decimal now belongs. So your answer, put your decimal point, and then copy down the numbers. So it's 2,716 ten thousandths kilometers. Number four. We have three and seven tenths, what did I do, deciliters. And we are going to take that to the milliliters. So again, we've already got our decimal point established. We're going to use that. Deciliters is here. We're going to milliliters. That is one, two places to the right. So you go one, two places. Again, showing my arrow, I have to add a zero. So copy down my numbers, add my zero. My answer is 370 milliliters. Number five, we'll do one more. We've got 67 hundredths of a gram. We're going to find out how many kilograms that is. Again, you've got your decimal point, so you're going to start at grams, and you're going to travel one, two, 
three places to the left. One, two, three places. Yes, you need to add one, two, three zeros. And then you're going to copy down your numbers, copying down your six and your seven. Decimal goes there. Hopefully that makes more sense. Mr. Erickson and I want you guys to go ahead and finish out the front side of the worksheet and we'll be prepared to go over it when we come back to school. Have a great night.